Hello students, I am your 15 minute teacher. I will be teaching you mathematics for 15 minutes. Are you ready? The next lesson that I will be teaching you is factoring polynomials with quadratic trinomial. But first, we will have a quick review about multiplying a binomial to another binomial. In multiplying binomial to another binomial, we need to remember the concept of FOIL method. F stands for first terms. O stands for outer terms. I stands for inner terms. And L stands for last terms. By following this method, we can easily solve for the product if we multiply binomial by another binomial. For an instance, what would be the product of the quantity x plus 3 quantity times the quantity of x plus 2 quantity? By following the FOIL method, we have for the f first terms, that would be x times x, that would be x squared. For the o outer terms, we have x times 2, the result would be 2x. For i inner terms, we have 3 times x is equal to 3x. And for L, last terms, we have 3 times 2, the result would be 6. So the product would be x squared plus 2x, plus 3x, plus 6. Since there are terms that are similar, we can still simplify. The final answer would be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Let us have more examples before we will proceed to the main lesson. What would be the product of the quantity x plus 3 quantity times the quantity of x minus 5 quantity? By following the FOIL method, we have x squared minus 2x minus 15. How about the product of the quantity 2x minus 1 quantity times the quantity of x minus 2 quantity? By following the FOIL method, we have 2x squared minus 5x plus 2. And lastly what would be the product of the quantity 3x minus 4 quantity times the quantity of 2x plus 6 quantity. By following the FOIL method, we have 6x squared plus 10x minus 24. In factoring quadratic trinomial, the given are the products of a binomial multiplied by another binomial. There are terms of information that you need to know about quadratic trinomial. The general form of a quadratic trinomial would be ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, c are real numbers, which means that these a, b, and c can be changed into any numbers. I think you are ready in factoring quadratic trinomial. I will be introducing a method that would fit or applicable in factoring any quadratic trinomial whether a is equal to 1 or greater than 1. And that is Californian method. In this method we need to follow the steps. First, multiply the first and last terms of the quadratic trinomial. Second, list down all the possible factors of the product of the first and last terms. Third, identify a pair of factors that whose sum is the middle term of the given quadratic trinomial. Fourth, divide the chosen pair factors to the first term of the quadratic trinomial. The first term of the quadratic trinomial over the first factor. The first term of the quadratic trinomial over the second factor. Fifth, simplify. Lastly, the factors of the quadratic trinomial with this form. The first factor would be the simplified numerator plus or minus simplified denominator. And the second factor would be the simplified numerator plus or minus simplified denominator. Now let us have an example. x squared plus 4x plus 3. 
First step, multiply the first and last terms of the quadratic trinomial. That would be x squared times 3. The result is 3x squared. Second step, list down all the possible factors of the product of the first and last terms. The possible list of factors of 3x squared are 3x times x, the other one is negative x times negative 3x. Third step, identify a pair of factors that whose sum is the middle term of the given quadratic trinomial. Among the list of factors, the 3x and x, whose sum is the middle term which is 4x, that would be 3x plus x, is equal to 4x. Fourth step, divide the chosen pair factors to the first term of the quadratic trinomial. The first term of the quadratic trinomial over the first factor. The first term of the quadratic trinomial over the second factor. That would be x squared over the first factor 3x and x squared over the second factor x. Fifth step, simplify. That would be x squared divided by 3x, that would be x over 3. And x squared divided by x, that would be x over 1. Lastly, the factors of the quadratic trinomial with this form. The first factor would be the simplified numerator, which is x, and simplified denominator, which is positive 3. And the second factor would be the simplified numerator, which is x, and simplified denominator, which is positive 1. So the factors of x squared, plus 4x, plus 3, that would be the quantity of x plus 3 quantity, times the quantity of x plus 1 quantity. Let us have another example. x squared, minus 10x, plus 9. First step, multiply the first and last terms of the quadratic trinomial. That would be x squared times 9, the result is 9x squared. Second step, list down all the possible factors of the product of the first and last terms. The possible list of factors of 9x squared are 3x times 3x, x times 9x, negative x times negative 9x, and negative 3x times negative 3x. Third step, identify a pair of factors that whose sum is the middle term of the given quadratic trinomial. Among the list of factors, the negative x times negative 9x, whose sum is the middle term which is negative 10x, that would be negative 9x plus negative x, is equal to negative 10x. Fourth step, divide the chosen pair factors to the first term of the quadratic trinomial. The first term of the quadratic trinomial over the first factor. The first term of the quadratic trinomial over the second factor. That would be x squared over the first factor negative x and x squared over the second factor negative 9x. Fifth step, simplify. x squared divided by negative x, that would be x over negative 1. And x squared divided by negative 9x, that would be x over negative 9. Lastly, the factors of the quadratic trinomial with this form. The first factor would be the simplified numerator, which is x, simplified denominator, which is negative 1. And the second factor would be the simplified numerator, which is x, simplified denominator, which is negative 9. So the factors of x squared, minus 10x, plus 9, that would be the quantity of x minus 1 quantity, times the quantity of x minus 9 quantity. Let us have another example, this time the value of a is greater than 1. We have 3a squared, minus 8a, minus 3. First step, multiply the first and last terms of the quadratic trinomial. 
That would be 3a squared times negative 3. The result is negative 9a squared. Second step, list down all the possible factors of the product of the first and last terms. The possible list of factors of negative 9a squared are negative 3a times 3a, negative a times 9a, and a times negative 9a. Third step, identify a pair of factors that whose sum is the middle term of the given quadratic trinomial. Among the list of factors, a times negative 9a, whose sum is the middle term which is negative 8a, that would be a plus negative 9a, is equal to negative 8a. Fourth step, divide the chosen pair factors, to the first term of the quadratic trinomial. The first term of the quadratic trinomial, over, the first factor. The first term of the quadratic trinomial, over, the second factor. That would be 3a squared over the first factor a and 3a squared over the second factor negative 9a. Fifth step, simplify. That would be 3a squared divided by a, that would be 3a over 1. And 3a squared divided by negative 9a, that would be a over negative 3. Lastly, would be the factors of the quadratic trinomial with this form. The first factor would be the simplified numerator, which is 3a, and simplified denominator, which is positive 1. And the second factor would be the simplified numerator, which is a, and simplified denominator, which is negative 3. So the factors of 3a squared minus 8a minus 3 that would be the quantity of 3a plus 1 quantity times the quantity of a minus 3 quantity let us have last example for a is greater than 1 we have 5a squared plus 6a minus 8 first step multiply the first and last terms of the quadratic trinomial that would be 5a squared times negative a the result is negative 40a squared. Second step, list down all the possible factors of the product of the first and last terms. The possible list of factors of negative 40a squared are negative 10a times 4a, 10a times negative 4a, 5a times negative 8a, and so on and so forth. While giving the possible factors, if you can already identify the pair, you can stop now. Third step, identify a pair of factors that whose sum is the middle term of the given quadratic trinomial. Among the list of factors, 10a times negative 4a, whose sum is the middle term which is positive 6a, that would be 10a plus negative 4a, is equal to positive 6a. Fourth step, divide the chosen pair factors to the first term of the quadratic trinomial the first term of the quadratic trinomial over the first factor the first term of the quadratic trinomial over the second factor that would be 5a squared over the first factor 10a and 5a squared over the second factor negative 4a fifth step simplify that would be 5a squared divided by 10a is equal to a over 2 and 5a squared divided by negative 4a that would be 5a over negative 4 lastly the factors of the quadratic trinomial with this form the first factor would be the simplified numerator which is a and simplified denominator which is positive 2 and the second factor would be the simplified numerator which is 5a and simplified denominator which is negative 4 so the factors of 5a squared plus 6a minus 8 that would be the quantity of a plus 2 quantity times the quantity of 5a minus 4 quantity that's it we are done in factoring polynomials with quadratic trinomial. Before I will end the video, 
I posted five item exercises for you to practice what we've learned. See you next video.